morning welcome back to the channel I am back heading out to Folsom right now and I've been MIA the last couple of weeks not really but kinda I went up to Berryessa to help my brother pre-fish for a TOC for BBT I was super stoked to go out with my bro anytime I get a chance to go out with him I take it um, he's got a badass ranger got the power poles for graphs for like 12 inch graphs and all that stuff so he's through and through a power fisherman and it's it's all or nothing kind of attitude with him you know it it paid off for him but I'm not gonna make a video out of it because he's got a lot of techniques that he learns from other people from his close friends uh, he does fish tournaments as a pro so he's got other pros giving him techniques to try and lures to try and stuff that uh, I've never seen before. So it was really a fun day. I wish I could show you guys, but I'm not gonna. I don't, I don't take other people's tips and tricks and, and pass it around, especially since they're fishing for money and I'm not. But my bro on day one did really good, man. He came in with like a 7.75, 7 and 3 quarter right around there. I can tell you what that was on because that's not a secret. It was on a uh, River to Sea rover. Uh, day one, my bro came in with like 19.81 pounds and he was in sixth. And day two was a lot tougher for everybody. He came in with roughly about 14 pounds, 13 and three quarters, something like that. And uh, he bumped up to fourth place. So he went from 6th on day 1 to 4th on day 2, so congrats to him. Good job, bro. The lake has dropped 11 feet since I've been here last. I'm sure the water temps are in the 60s now, so as long as it's above 60, I'm going to be throwing reaction baits, top water, start out with some top water on those uh, little shallow areas on the, on the little peninsula that I know about. And uh, we'll just go from there, man. See you guys out there. Well, that's grown since I've been here. Just to go over the baits one more time. Got a big ass spook, the rover, uh, river to sea rover. If I do top water this today, I'll uh, show you guys that. A rig, jig, uh, split shot, old school. Had a drop shot with a Kai Tech and a little Okashira screw head set up at Berryessa. Uh, that's how I ended the day. And got my little S waiver on. That's what we're going to throw today or right now. I'm really, I'm right next to some really deep water. And so uh, I'm gonna start out with a little bit of glide bait action. When I pulled up, it looked like it was about 50, 58 uh, feet deep. There's some underwater island tops. That one out there I've done great on. Same with the second one. Uh, I pulled some off in between here last year, but mainly on these outer buoys here. I kind of missed my time last year I was getting jerkbait fish off the point of this when it was underwater, out that way under off of that point. I kind of missed that. I'm gonna throw my glidey bait first. I suck at these, man. I really don't, I mean, I don't think it's too complicated. You just ziggity zag. Yeah, I mean, this looks great. Oh, you know what? I need to get some fishy stick stuff on here. Chuck this bad mamma jamma. Woo. I'll probably, get my a rig out too last time i was at Folsom, i i accidentally overwrote my my footage when i was at berryessa the last time i was out here and i ended up catching two on my a rig 
right now these fish should be stocking up still so an a rig might be a good thing here too i do have my a rig tight on so i will probably get that on but i'm just seeing if i can get any big bad mamma jammas to come up and slam this real quick this doesn't work like my brother's work my brother's got three hundred dollar glide baits that go whoosh 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 mine's kind of going <laughs> Oh, I don't think I'm working this thing right. I think I'm going to put my A-Rig on after this. I'll do one more cast out there by these buoys in between these two right here with this glide bait. But, you know, I'm not going to waste too much time on it. i got to figure out how to learn this, how to fish this thing first. Because uh, when it's coming in, it just doesn't, doesn't look very good. Oh, wait, shit! Dude, I either hit a rock, which is very possible, or I had one on. I think I hit a rock. We're going to go with a rock. There's no way I had a fish. I like the color. I just don't think I'm working it right. All right, let's put my A-Rig on. A-Rig time, baby. The confidence is high with the A-Rig. And we are going to zip through these uh, doodads here. Zip through these, uh, what do you call boots? Well, that was a hard word to think of. Pachow! I kind of fucked up my baits a little bit, but they're fine. There's so many of them, they don't really care too much. I'm gonna juice up the main one. Alright, let's. I'll throw a couple. Wow, this feels so light compared to the. Uh, that other rod I was throwing with the glide bait, man. Whew. And as always, a rig looks spectacular. Okay, so just confirmed, the F S waiver hit was uh, was rock. There's rocks that are just like a foot deep there. All right. Well, this isn't good. Shoot, this is a lot, a lot more shallow than uh, I was fishing it last year. Oh, there's a little uh, quack quack, little bait fishing, little bait fish getting bird, tiny one. He just went under. It's a good sign. Maybe there's some uh, bait fish around here. I cast right where he went down. Hey, yeah, see, oh, I just had a hit. He's he's sticking his head under the water, looking for bait fish right now. Okay, I'm gonna get my jig on. I'm seeing some guys right around the bottom out here. Gonna throw the jiggy out. Gonna throw the jiggy out. Getting jiggy with it. All righty, right, right. Oh, shit. There's a bunch right out in front of me. Oh, my crap. There's about eight of them right out in front of me, like 10 feet, 20 feet away. Right on the frickin' bottom, dude. Okay, I need to drift back now. Oh, a whole school of them. Look at that. Right there. Oh, just hit a rock. I got all excited. So excited. Oh, there's a hit. There's a hit. Got him. Got him. Yeah, boy. Jiggy hit. He's small. He's tiny, but... He hit like a good one. I see you, sir. I see you. Get in here. Whoop. Oh, he's a keeper. Yeah. Nice. Oh, damn. He's dropping right on his nose. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, G Money. Let's get a uh, weight on you. Do that again, real quick. 1.52. All right, bro. Set you back. Thank you for biting, sir. Yeah. We'll throw right out. Uh, we'll cast right back out. 
to where we got him. He was just kind of off the side of this little point here. He hit good. You know, I thought he was a lot smaller than that. I thought he was maybe like a 10 inch or something, but just one tap and then a pull, and that's when I stuck him. And man, it that hook just buried in the roof of his mouth. It's these these hooks on these G Money jigs are really good. And they're cheap. That's what I like about them too. They're only like three bucks a jig. Oh, I'm just bouncing over bunches of rocks right there. Small rock. Oh, yeah, there, there, there goes a the hit. Can't even talk. I think he's got it. I think he's swimming with it, dude. I don't. There he is. Yeah, he was swimming with it. He's tiny, though. This is small. <laughs> I felt a. And then I was just. There was. I couldn't even catch up with the slack. I couldn't even catch up with the line. Oh, you are faded, sir. Look at that. All right. Look at that. It's a small mouth. He's super faded, though. Little guy. Bye, guy. You know, uh, I bought these specifically for Berryessa. This is the roll and stroll and jig head. And I bought these so you guys don't have to. Because these things are shit. You know, on Instagram you see them wobbling back and forth. This this does nothing. They swim straight. Doesn't do a fucking thing. Uh, if I'm not, if I'm bored at some point, I'll put it on for you guys and show you. But this fucking thing doesn't wobble back and forth. This does nothing. It just swims straight. It's stupid. Don't buy these things. They're garbage. Look at what I just found. Ooh, boy. That is a massive school. Of I don't see anything around it, though. But there, there has got to be. Oh, man. I got I got to stop and fish that. That's one of those things where the graph says there's tons of bait fish. Tons of... Uh, there's just a massive school of bait fish over there. And I'm not showing any fish whatsoever. Uh, on my graph chasing those bait fish but man uh that's the reason kind of why i'm starting i'm throwing this jig right now they may just be glued to the freaking bottom but that's just too many rocks too big of a rock pile and too big of a bait fish pile for me not to stop and fish that is insane i'm not going to say too long though you do need to trust your graphs so if there's nothing on the bottom then I'll probably just go. I'll probably keep on going. I'm throwing a drop shot right now just because these fish are a couple foot off the bottom. Otherwise, I would have just thrown my jig. We're in 27 feet right now. And I'm actually seeing some bigger ones over here off of a ledge. Or a big rock pile. I can't tell if it's a ledge or a rock pile. I don't want to get any closer yet. But there's a couple good sized ones over there. Oh, shit. I said something. Could have been a rock. Could have been a fish. Oh, I might have a fish right now. Yeah, I got a fish. Got him. Oh. I'm solid. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, boy. I need the net for him. I'm going to loosen my drag a little bit just in case it decides to pull. There he is. Oh, yeah. There he is. Oh, shit. I missed him. It's good on a drop shot. I think he's bigger than my other couple. It's a good one. Good largey. Large mouth, huh? One eight five. 
All right, two pound larchy. I'll take him. I'll let him go on this side here. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I knew I seen a couple of bigger blips out there. I think that I think the blips were still the ones that I've seen, uh, the bigger ones. I think they were still bigger than two pounds. And as you can see, I'm, I'm right in front of the freaking dam. There's a hump out that way, hump, rock, drop off something, ledge. And I, I saw a good, uh, like four or five rather large blips on it. And they look like they were bigger than that two pounder that I just got. They look like they were closer to, closer to four. Like I've seen two pound blips before and caught them. And they didn't look, they looked smaller than the blips that I just saw. So I still think there's some bigger ones sitting over there. There's another one. Oh, fudge. I just missed another one. Boy, he was nibbling on it. I let him nibble on it just a little bit too. My drag is loose. Oh, you pulled off. Alright, that was awesome. And that does it for me for the day. It's just afternoon right now. Uh, I gotta I had to make this a quick day. I have some stuff to do uh, later this afternoon. But I got three in the boat. I just had one on, just lost them. Uh, my drag was set really loose for some reason. Uh, the water temp is dropping. It's currently, let me check, uh, at about 12, 1208 is, what is it, 60, 66.9. And uh, like I said, I got it cut out early today. So not bad. I missed a couple other ones. I just had one on at, uh, just, I just had one on with the little swim bait, little Kai Tech. Uh, he wasn't any big. He was probably a 10 inch or whatever. Who cares? I only got two bites on a jig today. And uh, I got both of those in the boat. One dink, one pound and a halfer. Uh, biggest one was just under two pounds with a drop shot. And I missed another one there over by the dam. Boy, I found a ton of them. I just couldn't get any of them to hit. So my guess is a lot of them were not bass. Congrats again to my bro for taking fourth in that TOC, the BBT TOC. And uh, I will see you guys next week.